How's the, uh, the build-up to this fixture be? Yeah, really good. Relaxed, but uh, intense at the same time when, uh, when we've had the players on the field. It's, uh, it's been really, really good and uh, to, they're a credit to what our competition and what our clubs are producing because there's some real good young men in there as well. It's a young and very exciting looking crop of players, this, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. And there's plenty more not here as well tonight, yeah. so there's, I'm sure everybody's got a debate on who should and shouldn't be here, but we've gone with this 17 and it's, uh, yeah, it's, like I say, it's exciting and it's, it shows that there's players out there for our game and uh, we've got to keep developing them. And these the live scenes now as Jordan Turner makes his entrance through a guard of honour here at the Menderhose jungle. What a competitor he's been. What a servant to rugby league and what a night this is going to now be. A respectful minute silence followed by the demonstration of support for the RFL's Tackwish initiative. That's exactly what Jamaica are doing right now. Golding. Turner. Oh, and the intercept Turner is on the back one. Now then, this will be a foot race. Who's got the toes? The Knights are the I think the what is going to go? All the way down the other end. And Broadbent scores. It was a Jamaica attack, it was a Turner pass. Straight down the other end of the pitch and Jack Broadbent scampers clear, shows him the clean heels and gives him the toes and the Knights strike first to lead 4-0. Great opportunity for double figures here for Paul Anderson's side. Danny Walker, the captain at Dummy Hard. Looks to go on his own, does Walker and he has! You knew what he was going to do. But you still can't stop him. Brilliant field position this. What can Golden conjure? He's going to go to the left-hand side and bring in Turner. Back they come and they're loading up. But the Knights are there in defence. Can they just keep them out? No, I think Jamaica are over here. And Jones Bishop there. And PJP has scored. Walker has a look over his right shoulder. Normally means he goes left, but no, a double fake. And then... They run up a cul-de-sac a little bit here tonight, so nothing doing there. Well defended by Jamaica. Walker to Price. Price on his own sees the gap. What a turn of pace from Will Price. That is absolutely brilliant. There was nothing on. Nothing on at all. And then he just delved into his box of tricks. And Will Price has been doing that all season in his breakthrough year. Good scrambling defence to keep out Morgan Gannon. But the danger signs are there. The Knights are sensing blood. And Smith goes on his own. And that Right on half time could be the game breaker. We've got Aaron Smith on now and he's very similar. So the Knights get us back underway. Four tries to one, they lead. By 22-4, they're going to go right the way in at the start of the second half. How about that? What an extraordinary start to the second half. Jamaica are still in the Sheds. And the Knights extend their lead. How about that? Smith says, get out of the way, this one's mine. Lewis looking to bring in Will Price and then steps clear himself and then the offload. Brilliant scrambling defence from Jamaica, that a try written all over it. It's still Mike, it's the last. Will Price is hanging dangerously back on the right-hand side. And then the grubber kick through, can he get there? Yes, he can, it's a wonderful nice try. You could see it coming. Price hung back, threaded the eye of the needle kick. And the try is there for Ellis Longstaff. So approaching the midway point of the second half, and it's been all England night so far. Yeah, we need to spend a bit of time in, in the England half. But it's not looking right promising, George. Yeah, the Knights are off again, and they're scampering clear. And they're going to run in another one here. Matty Ashton won't be caught fought his way through that was Joe Brown with a strong hit but Lewis sees a gap and he's through and he gives it to Kai Pierce Paul and he's got support inside it's brilliant for the Knights and a second for Aston and just like that 
Paul Anderson's at England Knights destroy and tear Jamaica to pieces down the middle and it's another four-pointer under the post held is the call and Aaron Smith who's got one to his name already from dummy half gives it to Walker who's also scored and he darts away on his own looking for the gap towards the line and Jamaica are on their metal it's the last tackle will they come back or go and scurry from dummy half and score again is it Smith with a second of the evening from dummy half the try is awarded the 50 is up loaded up on this left hand side flat ball and the spin towards the line is just short it's the last tackle but there are numbers on this left side if they can work the ball over Mikey Lewis back they come Ashton joining the line Connor Red stepping away and Red towards the line and what a moment for this young man Connor Wrench, an impressive performer himself lovely double step and he marks the night with a try of his own I didn't see anything <laughs> <laughs> that means that was a trip that is the hooter they do keep him out illegally or not wonderful night for the Knights painful night for Jamaica but a celebration of rugby league for a great servant in Jordan Turner on his testimonial the Knights big winners worthy winners and they will have enjoyed this match